who didn't you guys brought food? Like, just be like, hey, I'm gonna come Tuesday and I'll buy some pizza for you, Miss McLovin. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could share it. All right, so I need to go and find out and do standard form, right? Good. And to remember standard form, there's a couple things that have to happen. One thing is we can't have a negative A, all right? The coefficient of our X variable cannot be negative. And also, um, the common factor between our A, B, and C have to be, you know, one, or the least common factor has to be at least one. We can't, you can't have fraction as your exponents. So what we need to do is we need to get rid of these fractions. And when I have fractions that, you know, have different denominators, I need to find the least common denominator. So I look at four and five and I say, what is the smallest number that they both go into? And that is 20. So now that I have 20, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply each one of these terms, each one of these terms all of them by 20. Actually, before I do that, let's get them over to the side. Let's get the X and the Y to the same side. So I'll get a negative 3 fourths X. Uh, I need to subtract 2 fifths Y on both sides. So minus 2 fifths Y equals a negative 1. Now what we need to do is uh, I need to multiply everything by 20. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 20 times a negative 3 fourths x and then minus 20 again times uh, 2 fifths y equals negative 1. Now you could multiply by negative 20 if you want to get rid of that negative sign, but I'm not really concerned about it right now. I'll do that right at the end. But that would be kind of a helpful tip to do. Um, so here, there's a couple ways you could do this. You could divide 20 divided by 4, which would be 5, and then multiply that by 3 to get 60, or, or to get 15, I'm sorry. Or you can multiply 20 times 3 to give you 60, divide by 4, and either way, you're going to get 15. But since there's no that negative sign there, it's going to be a negative 15. X minus, again, you can do it two ways. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 20 times 2 is 40 divided by 5 is 8. Again, there's that negative sign, so you're going to get 8y equals negative 1. Now again, now we don't have any fractions. However, besides fractions, we also cannot have a negative a. So I need to divide by negative 1 by everything. Therefore, my final answer is 15x plus 8y equals a positive 1. And that's how you solve for standard form when you have fractional exponents, or fra fractional coefficients.